Ladies and gentlemen, if you are not sitting down for today's video, make sure you do your seatbelt up and you are sitting down because we just got a delivery from none other than the man, the myth, the legend, Pokey Collects. No, one, let's do it, you ready? So guys, if you somehow don't know who Pokecollex is, or you somehow missed my previous video with him where we got none other than the shiny Charizard from Hidden Fates, go check it out, I'll link it down below. But basically, this is a man that runs a website, and he's taken the concept of like a regular Pokemon boost back, you know? You know, you don't really know what you're gonna get, it's roughly like, whatever the set's providing, it could be trash. But what if, he took the concept of a booster pack, and he guaranteed you'd always get something. Whether it be in a premium mystery pack, a uh, full art god pack, premium uh, Japanese collection pack right here. So I love making videos with this man, and I think if you guys want to buy any of these boosters, I'll link his website down below. But he's also got a giveaway where you could win any of these cards on screen right now. So it's pretty much like the perfect time if you want to buy some of these boosters. Do it right now. Um, and we're going to split this into two parts, because he said, usually it goes, we do part number one, and then the bangers are on part number two. But he, he's like, let's do an Easter egg hunt. Let me randomly put in bangers throughout part number one and part number two, and you are going to be blown away as to what you're unboxing. And if last time I did a video with this man, and we got a shiny Charizard, what the flip has he tried to one-up this time? Like, what's he put in this one? I don't even want to know. What should we unbox first? This is such a thick, like, vintage collection. Let's do an ultimate mystery pack. I don't know. Let's just start with this one, work our way up. All of these are complete mysteries to me. I don't know any cards, like, he puts in there. They always chop and change. Sometimes they like to do with the new set, so I'm guessing, like, Sword and Shield might have a couple of V cards in here. Um, maybe some Hidden Fates again. I'm never mad if we double up on Hidden Fates. But I also love the vintage ones. Oh, we're off to a good start. So this is an ultimate mystery pack. You guys have to let me know what your favorite boosters are. But we start off with good old Gardevoir and Sylveon GX card. Then a Hidden Fates Riolu shiny gold card. Look at him. It's a golden Riolu. Oh, okay. This is going to be a good episode. And then, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The chandelier fell down. This isn't even in the Usually the bangers are in the top loader. BD full art Pokemon card out of Sword and Shield. Straight off the bat. Guys, you don't understand. If I got this in a Rainbow Rare, oh my gosh. So there's eight cards I need out the set. And if we got this in a Rainbow Rare, this would have completed the uh, BDs I need. Holy smokes, we might, be at, we might actually complete the collection today. Do, uh, okay, I'm going to do a recap. I'm going to do a recap at the end, but it's going to be crazy. These recaps with Poke Collects always go a bit bonkers. We have to lay all the cards down on the carpet. But what's he putting here? Oh no. Oh no, it's a Neo. Oh, look at that. Neo Jumpluff Hollow card right there. And then, is it Neo Destiny, I think? I'll put it on screen if it's not De Neo Destiny, but... This is stunning. It's 100% a Neo card, though. And then... Oh my goodness! Rainbow Rare! Who are Blastoise flipping GX? This is the first booster pack, guys! Holy smokes! Are you kidding me? Solid Shell, Rocket Splash, and Giant Geyser GX as the attacks. Okay, I gotta, like, try and calm down. I gotta, like, oh, call the old Jets. It's getting a bit hot in here. Oh! How is this the very first, like, straight off the bat, this is what he's doing? I would have been fine with just a jump off holo card, let alone a Blastoise Rainbow Red GX card. That is wild. That's so sick. Alright, I'm going to start putting these uh, cards to the side so I don't damage them at all. And let's keep it going. Let's do a premium mystery pack. And was that... That was an ultimate mystery pack. So is premium better or worse than ultimate? I want to say it sounds a bit better. Oh gosh, how do you one-up that? Do you just put a bunch of like, okay, here we go, a bunch of GXs or something. We got a reverse Omnistar, looking pretty good. Then a reverse Eevee as well, Houndoom. Then a Pangoro, looks a bit washed out. We got a Zapdos Holo, Greninja from good old Detective Pikachu. 
then that hot gold soul silver era Jirachi holo card, and then another HS Blossom right there. And what's in the top loader? So that one sort of builds up. And then is it just gonna KO me right now? With none other than a Zamazent V card. Very, very playable, like regular card right there. The Zassian V is like, it's going for such crazy money right now. Oh, is that the, um, yo, I think this is the Evolutions Raichu holo card, I reckon. I think that's 100% what it is. Energize and Spark Bolt. Look how shiny the holo is right there. Not too shabby, dude. You just absolutely rack and stack some really valuable holos, and then you get the brand new, like, Zamazenta V as well. I'll take it. That's fantastic. Ultra Rare only pack. So the only things in here are Ultra Rares, guys. Nothing more, nothing less. All right, let's get you guys out the sleeve. Okay. You got to start it with a Charizard EX, apparently. And then it goes, oh gosh, there's one there. Okay, well, you know what? We can just breeze over this right now. No one needs to see this. This has literally just made everyone dislike the video. All right, everyone re-like the video. Jolteon's back here. It's a good-looking Jolteon card, isn't it? Sort of a very realistic take on a Jolteon GX. I really got to sort through this pile, actually. All the Vs and GXs and the Holos are mixed up. As I said, we'll do a big recap. That's the Rainbow Rare, isn't it? That's... Oh no, that's a Full Art. No, it's blue! It's flipping blue's tactic Full Art! One of my favorite evers! I really, really love this card. The only one I love just as much is Red's Challenge. That's a good looking Full Art card. Oh, sick! Look, dude, my binder after this? No way. Espeon and Deoxys right there. Look at his eyes. Espeon's like possessed. Oh! My binder after these videos is always like stacked up and ridiculous. Thank you so much, man. All right, this might be my new favorite. Blue's Tactic Full Art Card. I think it's the background. It's something about this card really stands out for me. I'm putting that to the side. Yo! And then we also got a um, What The Flip. First edition only pack. This is new. I've never heard of this before. Okay. Um, but we also get a Rainbow Rare Blastoise. This is too much for Uncle Ando. First edition only pack. So the only things I'm getting in here are, what, vintage first editions? Or are they like newer first editions? What the heck? No way! I think they're all vintage bangers. First edition execute, then a first edition EV, and it's got the bold like first edition stamp there as well. Then a first edition Squirtle looking really good. Oh, anything first edition goes off, guys. It's so sought after, too. The amount of questions I'll, like, emails I'll always get about first edition cards. Everyone wants to buy them all the time. What's he putting here? Okay, first edition Sand Slash. Nice fossil card. It's our uh, regular uncommon. Not even a regular rare. And then... Oh, not too shabby. First edition Fossil Zapdos. I, this Zapdos is probably, I want to say, one of the more menacing and mean-looking Zapdos artworks of all time. What do you guys reckon? He just looks like an evil bird, doesn't he? Kaka! Is this coming to swoop you? Okay, first edition Zapdos, and then we've got... <gasps> Alright, it's a full art god pack. These things are bananas. So, th what this means is he's taken the concept of, like, a god pack, which exists in, like, the Japanese all-star tag team boosters, and he's put it into a regular custom booster. So he's gone, what if it actually existed like this? What the flip? It's an Ultra Recon Squad! Ah, oh, As if that isn't a secret rare. It's just on the border. 131 out of 131. That is gorgeous. Ultra Recon Squad Full Art. Then that classic tin, uh, Eevee and Snorlax GX Full Art Alternate Art kind of thing. Got his little, I don't know, they're Eevee's legs or chicken skewers. We're gonna pray they're chicken skewers. And then... Espeon Full Art GX. The way the light beams down on that card is stunning. Psybeam, Psychic, and Divide GX. Now what's in the top loader, ladies and gentlemen? What has he put in here? Oh, that is a banger. Mega Tyranitar EX. I miss the Mega Days, guys. These are so sick. Japanese text, like, bouldering down there. Destroyer King as the attack. How good is that card? That looks, like, all these lines look stunning. But then what's on the other side? Oh, wow, of course. Stone Journer VMAX with the full art texture. 
I reckon this is like my fourth, maybe my third. Stone Journey V Max. My double section is getting crazy. Do you guys want to bind to update my Sword and Shield collection? This is so sick though. Mega Tyranitar EX Fuller. Oh, I love this. Fuller God Pack's gonna be hard to beat. I don't know, guys. That's one of my new favorites. Although we do have a premium vintage pack right now. These always go down well because I love my vintage cards. And when they're handpicked by this man, he like slots in so many good ones. All right, what's in here? Okay, Star You. All right, this is good. We got a Tentacle as well out of the fossil. Jungles Execute. Mankey from Jungle again. Base it to Squirtle. Looking real good. Switch. Then a Dark Rapidash. Getting the good stuff. Kadabra. But then what does it lead to in this gnarly looking top loader? None other than a first edition Psyduck right there with a massive headache. Look at that bad boy. The poor thing. And then on the other side. Oh, no way. Hollow Vile Bloom out of Jungle. He sent me the same card but without the um, jungle logo there. And I submitted it to PSA. Check out that like original like hollow pattern in the background. That really nice looking square of just pure shininess. Beautiful cards. First edition side up too. Alright, hollow vial bloom. You're going to the side, man. What are we, it's just oh, nostalgia for me, I think. Okay, premium mystery pack time. Then we, oh my god, look at this. Five card promo and miscut pack, I think. What the heck? That's new as well. I've never heard of a miscut pack. Okay. I'm loving the new style of boosters. What do you guys reckon? Do you like these like, opening videos? I love them. If anything, it gives me a good cross-section of like random cards that are just added to the collection. It's kind of like going to eBay and buying a whole bunch of different Pokemon cards to boost out your collection. Holo Moltres. But it's more guaranteed. Like You know what you're kind of buying with these. Magnazone. Then the Velto as well. Okay, that was the final one. A Veltal Holo? I, I thought there was a promo card. Maybe it's a promo and something else. A Veltal Holo right there. And then inside of the top loader. Oh, no way. That's not even a um, Holo. That's a reverse Charizard. And I, I want to say Diamond and Pearl era. Maybe? That is wild. All right, Charizard reverse, level 60. And then... Rainbow Rare Kamo OGX card. Look at it. It's a flat out. Oh my, it's Secret Rare as well. 159 out of 145. And then like the Pokemon itself takes up the entire card. The wallpaper style circles in the background too with this Rainbow Rare. Oh mama, he's right. He's right. He's slotted in some absolute bangers this time. Reverse Charizard though. Holy, I love it. All right. Let's keep it going though, for the sake of the video, we could be dwelling on like every single booster it feels like. I want to see what this is. What's he mean by miscut? I want to see some brutally miscut cards, you know? Where it's like half one thing, half another. What do we got here? Whoa, that's, this is really good. First place, reverse Reggie Gigas from the League Challenge, I guess? These first place, second place, third place cards always intrigue me. So Reggie Gigas, first place. Then a Charizard from Radiant Collection. Love that Charizard. And then a Shaman. Full art or reverse character art, more I should say. Hasn't got the full art texture, but still a promo. It came in the good old Shaman box with Generations. Good times there. Then what's he put in here? Oh, I know. This is like the... Isn't it the promo Toys R Us Magikarp? The shiny Magikarp? Who would have thought? It's a shiny golden Magikarp. Just came as like a Toys R Us promo. Love the circus style background. Oh wow, this is awesome. We got cool Porygon. I love this card. Like who that calls it a cool Porygon. And I love this artwork as well. It's so like bulky, computer generated, everything Porygon needs to be. I dig that. That's a really cool set, isn't it? Like I'd be happy if that was a booster. Cool Porygon and Magikarp Shiny. Good old Toys R Us one right there. We're gonna have to, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go buy more sleeves, I reckon. Full art, god, don't do it to me. It's a full art god pack, guys. Ugh, I gotta stop it, this is insane. This is only half of it as well. We still got another half to go. Scissor EX full art card. He's smashing into the ground right there. Gorgeous. Scissor, Scissor's like such a photogenic Pokemon, I reckon. Put him on anything, no way. Zygarde GX. Full art, look, a bit of a turd colored background, but that's still sick. All of these are cool because of that unbelievable amount of texture. 
And of course, it's a Mega Lucario EX as well. EX, GX, EX again on the full arts. But he always one ups it. He always puts like a Rainbow Rare or Sneaky selling inside of here. It's another cheese munching. Look at him. He's been eating his cheese all. It's Guzzlord GX right there. Hidden face, shiny version, none other. And then Island Challenge Amulet, full art gold card. I can't remember whether this is one we're gunning for or if this is the one we got. I cannot remember, but I do know we recently pulled this bad boy out of our Hidden Fates opening. Oh, but the thing with Hidden Fates, right? The shiny fuller cards are so hard to come by. Just take anything you can get. I love this. And also, I'll take as many gold trainers as I can get because in my binder, I've got those sections and they're always missing a couple of gold trainers. That is perfect, man. Oh, he knows what to send me, I swear. I love this. Gluttony GX. The definition of why he's got a cheesel colored mouth. Guzzlord GX, you are fantastic. He's an absolute beast, but I want to keep going. Ultimate mystery pack. Why is this one called collection? What are these collection packs he sent me? I'm terrified. Ultimate mystery pack. Let's do it. I think this just means it could be anything. Like it's an ultimate mystery. You don't know what you're going to get. Swing it around. Oh, but I'm okay with that. Look at the Scyther, it's a promo, right? But Venusaur EX, Scyther, Vileplume, all the cameos. No, like, fuller texture, completely shiny. Alright, he's gonna do it in Japanese. Lapras VMAX. And then... Oh my goodness, shiny! Hidden Fates, Charmeleon. This is the definition of, like, I don't know what's going on, there's no pattern here. Which, oh, really terrifies me as to what's gonna be inside of here. So let's pull out the stuff in the top loader and have a look. Oh, nice! Yo, I wanted this card so bad! It's the hand-drawn version of the Tag Team Magikarp Well Lord GX. Oh, no way! I love this, man. Thank you so much for sending this one out. Dead set, this is a stunner. Do you guys like this card? I love it for some reason. It's beautiful. Then what's inside of here? Oh, my goodness. It's a base set, Nine Tails holo card. What a booster! That might be my favorite so far. You gotta like try and top yourself here. Guys, what the heck? This is nuts! I, I'm sorry, I could stare at that all day. That's a really, really cool card. Now, what's this? Japanese Ultimate Collection and then Ultimate Vintage Collection. Has this been someone's collection they sent into him? Because I know he buys cards as well. So, I don't know. It's really thick though. Oh my goodness, there's three sleeves? What collection is this? Let's swing it around. Okay! Is this trying to like pad out your collection or something? Paris from Jungle. Good old Rhyhorn as well. Geodude. Classic Grimer. To oh, but there's Pikachu. Grimer, then we got Zubat. Charmander out of Team Rocket. Then a Pikachu. Then a Lieutenant Surgeon's Voltorb right there. Pokeball, which is a classic. Goop gas attack. Then onto our next sleeve. So yeah, these are like legit all the uncommons and commons you can imagine when you unbox these old school sets. Team Rocket Slowpoke. We got Rattata, Magnemite, Bellsprout looking so proud. Dark Gloom. Wow. I was just saying the other day I wanted one of these cards. Then Sabrina's Slowbro. Dratini as well. Tentacruel. Then Rocket Secret Experiment. And what do they got here? The third and final sleeve before we get to the top loaders. What's in the top loaders, actually? That's a big question. Mankey, Ghastly. This is first edition. Do you notice that? Mankey's first edition, Ghastly's first edition, and Meowth is first edition. So what... Does that mean that the stuff in here is going to be first edition, you think? Or is that really pushing it? I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's base set two. Holy smokes. This is in ultra good condition as well. Another thing Poke collects, I think, really prides himself. If you buy one of these boosters, right, if you try your luck, the cards are always in really good condition where you can get them PSA graded. And a bunch of cards I've sent off from him have come back PSA 10. Okay, what's in this one though? Are you nervous? I am. Oh, it's Abra! Okay, we did the wrong way around. I thought it was going to be something crazy. I'm like, oh, no! That's okay. Abra and then base set to Alakazam. That is nuts. But then we've also got this one. 
The Japanese Ultimate Collection Booster. What's in the Japanese Ultimate Collection Booster? Is it like part of the new set, VMAX Rising? Or got like some sword and shield bangers in there? I don't know, we got the top loaders. And I guess we'll just open up the sleeves and find out. Oh, no way, holo cards. It's so, oh gosh, this is insane. We got the Rainbow Rare version of him. Oh, nice, no way, I love this. We, uh, we actually pulled this one as well, but Snorlax, then Spirit Tomb, Deancey as well, Exerkatry, Heat Ran, oh my gosh, Rhyperia. These are all hollows. Gengar, oh my. I searched for this for so long in England. Every time, I I've only got like two of them at a Cosmic, but I love it. Pikachu and Ash as the character art. Oh, the Japanese Hidden Fade set too. Poi Pole, Shiny. Why, if, okay, if, if the absolutely amazing character art and Shiny Poi Pole was in that pack, we're only building up, guys. So let's keep it going. Little Feromosa, then Altira as well. What do you reckon? <laughs> okay, okay, all right, calm down. Just a Prism Solgaleo, then a Lunala, then a uh, Galarian Linode, and then Cinderace, holo card. Okay, what's in this? Oh my gosh, it's EXs. So in there is not even just a regular EX, it's something better. Mega EX, Mewtwo X. Then a Ultra Necrozma GX. And that N, Reshiram, and Zekrom GX as well. So what's that leading up to? What does that mean is going to be in this top loader right now? I'll sleeve it out. Oh, yes, nice. We get the Full Art Stone Journey V card. And then Lapras V as well. And that, my friends, with that ridiculous ending, is just the end of part number one. I can't even make that up. That's the, all of those and that epic like scenario was part number one. We still have another half to open tomorrow. Make sure you click that subscribe button and I'm going to end today's episode with, get this, a recap. Let's try and do it. This is going to be nuts. So guys, I don't know about you, but I'm looking at these pile of cards thinking, holy smokes, how is this just one individual episode? Like, check all of these bad boys out. We'll start at the top with all of the full arts and gold cards, rainbow rare bangers, like dude. If you just look at any of these individually, you're like, wow, that's a pretty cool card. And then you put it together. We got Blue Full Art. We got Ultra Recon Squad and Unbroken Bonds Blastoise. I mean, a Full Art Purple Espeon, Zygarde, Rainbow Rares, Gold Cards. It is absolutely nuts. Even that, like, Whale Lord and, like, Magic Up card looks fantastic. All of them are bangers. Hidden Fates, Guzzlord, VMAX Lapras in Japanese. Oh, we got Ultra Necrozma. Then you just come down here, shiny Toys R Us exclusive magic card. Then the red and Pikachu character card, and all of these vintage bangers. Look at that! It's Cool Porygon right next to a Reggie Gigas first place card. Then Hidden Fates Charmeleon, Golden Shiny Riolu and Poipole out of Hidden Fates as well. Neo Genesis Jumpler. This right here was fantastic. Pikachu, I'm so excited for tomorrow. What do you guys reckon? Even more bangers, I'm sure, are on the way. But until next time, you're gonna keep on gaming. I'll see you then.